Is there anything I can do for area under my eyes? Thank you for your question. You submitted a photo and you're asking, is there anything that you can do for your under eye area? Well, I can certainly provide you with some guidance based on your photo alone. I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic surgeon practicing in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. The training of oculofacial plastic surgery is a super specialty after uh, full training in eye surgery. And so it is an area that I've been focused with uh, in the past 20 years to help people improve the aesthetics of their under eye area. So I'll give you an, a, a sense of how I do an analysis when someone like yourself comes to our practice and asks the very same question. First, I look for what is one of the most common reasons for concerns about the under eye area, and that's puffiness. And what, what does that mean? Well, puffiness under the eyes that is constant and doesn't go away regardless of sleep or the treatment or management of allergies and sinuses is usually caused by something called lower eyelid fat prolapse. Lower eyelid fat prolapse means that the fat around the eyes that is normally there presses forward or pushes forward and creates this, this undesirable bulge and it makes someone look like they're always tired. The other elements of the under eye area that I look at has to also do with skin quality. It is something that I realized years ago that when we help patients with the puffiness, they immediately were also concerned once that was re resolved with skin quality. So in terms of skin quality and in terms of puffiness, what I see as an opportunity for you, the under eye area, is where there's lower eyelid fat prolapse, I would perform a procedure called a lower eyelid transconjunctival blepharoplasty. What that means is I would address the fat pockets from behind the eyelid, and this procedure is done under local anesthesia with light sedation. Basically means you don't have to go under general anesthesia, and we perform this in our facilities uh, within our own practice. So that way a person doesn't have to go to a hospital or surgery center. And essentially what by the, the facilities are certified by the Joint Commission, which is the same body that certifies safety in hospitals. Now that's exactly, that's what, what I would do in, for someone like yourself in our practice. Now to help with skin quality, it is routine for us to do two things at the time of the procedure for someone with your skin type. And that is, to help the wrinkles, I would do something called fractional CO2 laser. Fractional CO2 laser takes off partially some of the top layers of skin, so essentially getting the benefit of resurfacing, and at the same time delivering thermal energy to the backbone of the skin called the dermis. And so you get a certain amount of skin tightening. We also would use something called platelet-rich plasma. Platelet-rich plasma is derived from your own blood, and it stimulates your know, collagen and blood supply. Basically, uh, what we're doing is we're, we're using the same elements of the blood that's needed for wound healing to stimulate a wound healing response in a way that helps improve skin quality. It's been very successful for us. We've used, we use PRP or platelet-rich plasma routinely in under eye for under eye dark circles and skin quality improvement with laser, uh, without laser, as well as for acne scars, for fine lines, wrinkles, scars, and in addition with combined with extracellular matrix for hair loss uh, in, a, in a treatment we call hair regeneration. So we have a lot of experience with platelet rich plasma. I think that combination is likely, would be likely in my hands to yield a very significant improvement for someone like yourself. Now that being said, I think it's important now to have a, an actual consultation with qualified, experienced doctors. My bias is finding specialists, people who specialize in cosmetic eyelid surgery, and learning about your options and learning about the different styles and look at before and afters and learn more about the, your individual doctor's style. It's very easy to sometimes commoditize these procedures, but I can promise you every doctor has their own approach and own style and, every, and you would have a slightly different result even though it looks straightforward from just at first glance. 
So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.